It's Ian Rush's 400th senior appearance for Liverpool, and he's scored 238 goals in their colours. Two more, and he'll catch the club's second highest scorer ever, Gordon Hodgson, and then only Roger Hunt, with 285, will be ahead of Ian in Liverpool's Hall of Fame. Well, Paul Parker, the Queen's Park Rangers captain, is hoping Rush won't add to his total tonight, because Parker's still haunted by memories of the night he came here with Fulham in the Littlewoods Cup and lost 10-0. Happier memories of Anfield in this unchanged Rangers team for number five, Alan McDonald, the only survivor of the side that drew 2-2 here in a League Cup semi-final four years ago and went through on aggregate. McDonald is nursing a bruised foot, so Brian Law is named as a substitute as a precaution. While Liverpool keep the team that started on Sunday, and it's the same two substitutes, they both came on at Loftus Road, Gary Gillespie and Steve Staunton. And the referee looks in good humour. It's Alan Sebel from Birmingham. This is a gigantic task for Queen's Park Rangers in the hoops. They've never won at Anfield in 15 visits, while Liverpool have only lost once in the FA Cup on this ground in the last 21 years. That was to Brighton in 1983. But there's Wegely. Don Howe has resisted the temptation to bring back Mark Falco and kept faith with the two strikers who played from the start on Sunday, Wegerly and Clark. Here's Hansen for Liverpool. What a good-looking ball. Rush to Houghton. Venison. Beardsley coming short. Houghton. Barnes is there, so was Bardsley. <laughs> Barry Venison joining the attack right from the start. It's Beardsley with the corner for Liverpool. Rangers have pulled everybody back. Here's McMahon. Simon Barker. This is Hansen. Regularly, Barker. Kenny Sampson. Oh, there's a bit of scuffling going on. Whelan and Barker uh, tangling up in the midfield. Wheeling for Liverpool. Beardsley was backpedalling away from the pass. Here's McDonald. Nickel. Wilkins. Wegerly. Venison. Oh, and Venison continues his run, trying to latch on to Houghton's pass. And Paul Parker, the sweeper, had to come across and stop the attack. Oh, good little ball, it's Beardsley, 1-0 Liverpool. They were fired up right from the start, and they've got the goal that they were looking for. Peter Beardsley. Four minutes, and how easy he made it look. There was a lot of space, but it was a clinical finish. And Beardsley, who was taken off on Sunday, starts this match in the best possible frame of mind. Barnes, and he's skipped him. And they're waiting in the centre, and it's still Barnes. And now Rush, and Barnes, and he's scuffed the shot. As though he was surprised it actually came to him. McMahon. And first one side, then the other, the ball's still in play, Beardsley. Barnes again. Oh, Nickel. Whelan. <laughs> They're lining up, Venison. Liverpool thundering forward.
history is very much on Liverpool's side. Here's McDonald. That's a corner off Hansen. Having said that, Rangers have made a real fight of it since uh, that bad start. They've uh, steadied the ship somewhat and they've got the two centre-backs forward again now for the corner. Oh, Gobbala missed it completely. Shades of Sunday for a moment. Goal kick. He was stretching again with the right hand and I don't think he made contact. It was swung in by Andy Sinton, and uh, Clark is the player nearer the ball for Rangers, and he couldn't make it either to the relief of the goalkeeper. Sinton in well there on McMahon, this is Wilkins, Bardsley's pulling away to the right, plenty of Rangers players forward in this attack. Wegerly, Barker, who was hope there for QPR, in fact they've had a good ten minutes the London side, there's Maddox. And they're pushing Liverpool back. Wilkins. Oh, that's a good ball, but it's offside against Wegerly. Play on anyway. Well, the QPR fans are making plenty of noise. Quarter an hour left in the first half. The score, as it was after four minutes, Liverpool won. Queen's Park Rangers nil. Here's the man who scored it, Beardsley. Now Rush. Well delivered by Parker. Clark is the player through. And it was so close to the equaliser. And it probably was Glenn Hussain, actually, that put the ball out, was it? Corner's been given. And Clark put so much strain on Hussein, it nearly went in. Sansom, Sinton, Wegerly. It's a really good, strong surge by QPR. Wilkins. And McDonald and Maddox are still waiting in the box. Sansom. And Nickel breaks it all up, and Liverpool attack. Houghton. Well, oh, it's Maddox with the back pass, and Parker had to intercept. Otherwise, Nickel was in behind them. Good thinking. And the game has really warmed up now. This is Parker in trouble. Beardsley, there's three to his left. It's Steve Nickel. What a storming period of play. And although it was Nickel who had the final shot, the other end was where the action was with Glenn Hussain. Because this was nearly 1-1. Clark is making it hard for Hussain, who's obstructing him in my view. Clark actually appeared to poke his foot between the legs of the defender, although a corner was given. time this time not quite so accurate with the finish that came three minutes from the end of the first half
regularly for Rangers. Oh, well, nicely done. Wilkins in the penalty area now. Clark far post threatening. And there's Wilkins! Oh, how close! Defender knocked it out. Corner, Hussein, I think. And Rangers buzzing now as Andy Sinton prepares to take the corner. Clark, whistle's gone, whistle's gone for either a hand or an arm being used by a Rangers player. But Liverpool there needed everybody back. And Wilkins has inspired a QPR revival here that has so nearly brought the equaliser. That cross had them panicking because Clark climbed better than Nickel. Wilkins got a glance off Hussein for the corner. And he still wants more. Good jump by Clark. It was a foul. Maddox on rush. It's a free kick to Liverpool. Barnes and Bardsley. Balls out. Well, the way Liverpool started, you thought they were going to throttle QPR, but Rangers came back so well, it was Liverpool who were choking before the half-time whistle. Peter Beard's this goal after four minutes, but then, as the action moved, Faster than ever, Wilkins got QPR back into the game and at half-time they got a fighting chance with the score only 1-0. They nearly got another goal the same way. Identical move, Houghton to Beardsley. This time he steered the shot agonisingly wide. The emphasis which is always placed on Don Howe's work on the training ground is certainly reflected in uh, Queen's Park Rangers' recent record. Only two defeats in their last 19 games, which was quite a platform on which to come here. And uh, they made a good fist of it in the first half, despite uh, that whirlwind start by Liverpool, who'll now be hoping to produce something similar. Here's Venison. Rush. McMahon. Houghton. The touch was by Wegerly, then by Barker. Wegerly again. Foul. Houghton. Parker, McDonald, Wegerly, off Barker by Whelan, and then back by Whelan. Barnes. Nichols made a run from left back offside. I can uh, spot Gillespie and uh, Staunton both warming up. Kenny Dalglish chose to use the pair of them at different times on Sunday. Here's Barker for QPR. Maddox. Wegerly. Forward by McDonald. And Clark in a good position, a very good position. He got away from Glenn Hussain, half a yard anyway, and that was enough to get the shot in. McDonald pumping that long ball forward. That's been a real Rangers tactic tonight, but uh, the angle didn't really favour Clark. He was very wide of the goal in more ways than one. Here's McMahon to Nickel.
more than a few anxious Liverpool supporters just at present because they haven't carried the game away from QPR the way that you thought they might in the opening salvo in the first half. But here's Beardsley. The second goal, of course, would be a very different story. McMahon. Wilkins. Barker. And it's a mistake by David Bardsley, and it could be dangerous. Barnes. No, it isn't. Danny Maddox on John Barnes, no penalty. Alan Seville kept his hands behind his back. That came on the hour. Regularly. Sanson. Parker. Wegerly. And now, as Wilkins has to try and get that goal side, McMahon has found Hansen coming out from the back. And he's having to go around in circles because there wasn't any support forward, really. The Rangers fans are booing Barnes because they feel he made a lot of that last incident. Here's Venison. Oh, good ball, Houghton. Beardsley. Floated, but nowhere. There was a total misunderstanding between Beardsley and Rush. Wegerly. Sinton. And this is Barker, Wegerly and Wilkins waiting in the middle. And it was a bit of a hat clearance by Whelan. It certainly wasn't meant to be a pass to Houghton. That's what it's become. And it's four against three. And there's danger on here. It's Houghton, it's Barnes. And still Barnes. And Seaman scrambling and Sanson away. They were rocking their Rangers. Barnes had them tied up in knots. Nickel, no. Hussein could have done better. <laughs> Falco with Hansen, Sinton, and back by Nickel. Falco to Clark. He can't go back to the keeper. who sorts things out for Liverpool, finds Nickel, and now Barnes against Bardsley again. Liverpool leading 1-0 with 20 minutes left, it's Hussein. Barnes, nice touch, rush, oh that's brilliant, this is McMahon! Good two! And that says the lot, really. The build-up had been so excellent that you were just waiting for the finish. And McMahon failed narrowly to produce it. Came inside nicely on his right foot, but just over. Bardsley. Barker. The Sainz header out. Sansom, Wilkins, well played now. Parker, looking for Falco, found him. Parker, off Hansen, corner. And still they press. And now there could be a counter attack with McMahon. Good header, rush. That's going to take a while to come down, but it's Barnes. 
Nickel. McMahon. Houghton. Beardsley. Beardsley shot. Good save by Seaman. Houghton. Oh, well played, the goalkeeper. Twice he saved Rangers there. But David Seaman's positional sense and agility and uh, reactions there were of the highest class because this really could have been the moment when the game was settled once and for all. That's a good save to start with low down. But when they spin on it here, Houghton, he saves well to stop Russ. Here comes Barker. Sinton. Still Rangers have hope. Barker. Headed down. And Maddox is in there. And they're struggling here, Liverpool. And Wilkins almost got it. And I don't really know how they didn't score. High drama there in the last minute. And it's a corner. Danny Maddox and Ray Wilkins were so close for Rangers. We're in injury time. Sanson comes near post. And the referee has blown. And Liverpool may not have a harder match than that in the FA Cup this season. Certainly not here at Anfield compared to the one that have gone before. Because despite scoring as early as the fourth minute through Peter Beardsley, the faces show that after that it was a real battle. And Queen's Park Rangers will go away realising that they could have equalised right up to the closing seconds. Liverpool now play Crystal Palace at Villa Park at high noon on the 8th of April in the semi-final of the FA Cup. We caused our own problems. You know, we were playing well once we scored for the first 15 minutes, but then all of a sudden the passes went astray and we didn't move as well as we could, but... Uh... Like you say, the results are the most important thing. How much would you put that down to the way Queen's Park Rangers played against you? Yeah, obviously they played well. You know, Dunn's obviously caused us problems in the past and uh, they tried to cause the problems again tonight. And uh, to be fair, I think they're probably unlucky in the end not to get a draw. Uh, you've scored in every round. It's nice to keep that record going. Uh, a very early goal too. Yeah, that's right. It, uh, it just broke on the edge of the box and Ray Houghton played me a great ball in. And I was only probably eight, nine yards out when I struck it in. So uh, luckily for me, I have scored in every round. I thought you were going to get another one just afterwards from an identical move. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Ray played another great ball in and uh, unfortunately he just shaved the far post.